Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing okay. Today I'm bringing you what I think is a pretty useful video about how to shop more wisely and a bit smarter and more savvily. So I have nine tips that I personally use pretty much every time I shop, um, just so I don't lose track. I save money, it's better for the environment, it's better for my wardrobe, it's not full of clutter that I don't want and I won't use. So I use these tips to really kind of hone in on shopping and so it's not wasteful in any way. So my first tip is today's sponsor, which is ShopTagger. So this little verse section is sponsored by ShopTagger. You'll know I have used them frequently and I've mentioned them in the past, worked with them in the past and I use ShopTagger on my Chrome extension all the time, literally every time I shop. And it is a clever app to ensure that you never miss a price drop, never miss a coupon code, and you also have everything kind of um, sectioned together so you don't get too distracted by other purchases. You can kind of create your own mood board or shopping board and really hone everything in in one place. So personally at the moment I'm shopping for loungewear, really nice pieces, maybe some quite luxe material that will stand the test of time and I'm using ShopTagger just to gather all those pieces in one place for one and also check if there are any discounts on those pieces. So what I've been doing is when I've been shopping for those pieces, um, saving them all to one board in ShopTagger and then making sure ShopTagger notifies me if there's any price change. That way I'm not just kind of impulse buying for one and also if I just wait a little bit, I might get a really good discount on it. What I'll do now is just show you a quick demo of how to use ShopTagger, it's so easy to use. I'll show you now. So firstly, go on to Google Chrome and then shoptagger.com. The link will be in the description box of this video and press the Get ShopTagger button. Then enter your details to create an account. Once you've done this, you'll be directed to your dashboard where you can then install the ShopTagger extension. Simply press install and then you can add it to your Chrome. Press add extension and you can pin it to your browser. Here's a little demo of how to use it in action. I'm just browsing the Mango site here for some loungewear pieces I was mentioning. I've seen this knit, so I'll click on it and then you'll see the ShopTagger pin pop up at the side. You can actually move this to anywhere on the page too, so it's more convenient. I'm now going to save it to my ShopTagger dashboard so I can create a wish list and also get notified if it goes into the sale. Click on the button, select your size, and I'm going to ask to be notified if there's any price change at all. I'll also save it to my loungewear list so that I have everything in one place and I can compare and contrast favorites. You can use ShopTagger in Google Chrome on your mobile. Once installed, you press the box with the arrow in it and ShopTagger will pop up. When you find an item you like, you can save it straight to your ShopTagger here. You'll then get an email or a mobile push when an item you save goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. Once you've saved your favorite items, they'll pop up in your ShopTagger page. I'm going to click on my items and head to the loungewear list I've created. Here, it's easy to organize everything so you don't get overwhelmed with shopping. ShopTagger also uses clever technology to scan the web for coupon codes. Once you go to checkout, like I've done here on Mango, ShopTagger will find if there are any coupons or discounts available. Press the I feel lucky and sit back whilst it searches for you. You can see on this order I saved 8% by using ShopTagger. This is a special feature if you're using ShopTagger on your computer, so the Chrome extension is a must. Finally, you can earn cash back via PayPal by shopping with ShopTagger. Press the cash back option to see all the sites that offer cash back when you shop through them. It's so easy to use and will definitely help you save a bit of cash. So check the link below um, to download ShopTagger and make sure you download to phone and desktop in order to save the most money. So for me, I think ShopTagger is the number one tip um, because it saves time and money, which are two precious commodities. I mean, you could be trawling through individual sites looking for discount codes um, or keeping on checking back to see if it's gone in the sale and ShopTagger will just notify you. It just makes life so much easier. So that is tip. Number one, probably the most important for me. Tip number two, which kind of goes hand in hand with this, is avoid impulse purchasing. I sometimes, I really can get like a magpie and I will be so attracted to something, especially if I'm in a store. I know we're not in stores. Well, here in the UK, we're not in stores at the minute, but 
hopefully at one point we will be soon, um, but I can be in a store and get really attracted to something that just looks so, I don't know, attractive on the eye and I'll get really drawn in by that. But I have to put my foot down and tell myself no, because often those pieces that are the magpie pieces, I mentioned this before, are the ones that aren't really things that we're gonna wear that much. So avoid impulse purchasing. You really need to go away and have a good think about that piece because you don't want wastage in your wardrobe. I think this is what the video is all about to avoid any of that wastage. Number three, again, follows on nicely from that. And that is what I call the five outfit rule. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's this, five outfit rule. So if you do see something, a magpie piece or something you really like, something you really want to buy, I mean, it could be anything. It could be something really simple, like a pair of black trousers. Um, it could be anything. Think of five outfits, I'd say five minimum that you already have in your wardrobe that you know can, you can wear with that piece. So that might take a little bit of time, a little bit of thinking about, but I assure you that time is a lot better than having a piece sitting in your wardrobe not being worn. Um, so think of a five outfit rule, different outfits, think of pieces you already own, not something you may buy in the future. It has to be already in your wardrobe, five outfit rule, absolute key. Tip number four is spot the gaps in your wardrobe. This is one that my mum always mentions, but sometimes you can just have that one key piece that holds you back from wearing so many different things. So for example, that could be something like a basic black cardigan, because maybe you've got blazers, things like that, and they're not warm enough to wear by themselves, but you know if you had that extra layer underneath, you'd get so much more wear out of them. So it could be really simple like that. And again, this might take a bit of time, but just going through your wardrobe, you know, one Saturday rainy afternoon, going through your pieces and really identifying, maybe choose some outfits out and then go through them and think about what is missing for that. It could be a really good pair of shoes. It could be, like I say, a cardigan. It could be a coat that kind of holds everything together, it could be an accessory like a handbag. So go through all of that, think about the color of the item that you're missing, think about the style of the item. It may not even be something you really want and it may not be something that you want to spend money on. It could be a pair of socks. Something really simple that you don't want to spend money on but that money will be spent so wisely, much more wisely than a flowing long black dress that you wear once. So think about what is missing in your wardrobe and spend a few hours just looking through everything, having a good think basically, um, rather than that impulse purchase. Number five is know your body shape. What suits you, what doesn't suit you? It's really easy, I think, to find this out. I know so many people ask me about it, but I personally think it's so easy. All you have to do is try something on and you look in the mirror and you know whether it works or not. You know if something is unflattering on you. You can just tell straight away. And I think an, an element of that is how you actually feel in the piece. And I think that's really crucial. If you don't feel good in a piece and you know it's not flattering your body shape, then that needs to go. Do not buy that and do not purchase it. So really knowing your body shape before you go shopping is a key one because instantly then you can just dismiss so many styles of clothing and you don't have to spend time trawling through either shops or online um, with thousands of pieces. I know it can be so overwhelming. Um, so knowing your body shape can really help you get rid of all those pieces um, and really focus on saving time again and hopefully money in the long run too. If you aren't as clear on your body shape, there's so many resources out there online. All you need to do is type it into Google. What is your body shape? There's so many ways to find out. There's so many sites that show you what suits you and what doesn't. But like I say, I think the real key thing here is to try something on and how do you look and feel in it. Number six is figure out your style. You might need a pen and paper for this or you might need your notes in your phone, but I want you to write down some words that describe maybe you as a person um, and what you are most comfortable as. Like what 
is typical you. So you could be quite a reserved person, quite a modest person, quite a loud, outgoing person. Um, I want you to kind of write down those descriptions. And I think often the descriptions of our personality are the descriptions of our style. Um, so for me, I would say I'm not particularly outgoing, I'm not the loudest person in the room, and I think that can reflect in my style in that I like to wear quite muted tones, um, I don't wear big bold patterns, think of it like that, and I think if you really know your personality, then you will know your style. And so once you've written down those words of your personality, Think about some words that maybe then reflect in a style sense. So maybe you like to be quite polished, quite classic. Maybe you like to be a bit more undone. So then from that, you can kind of springboard into those ideas of how um, you think your style is. And think about when you feel best. Do you feel best when you're wearing a really bright, colorful print? Or do you feel best when you're wearing something really classic and simple and minimalistic. Um, so think about those times when you really felt the best, maybe flick through your camera roll and think, actually, that outfit was really good. What is it about that outfit? Is it minimalistic? Is it, I don't know, frilly and ruffly? Is it feminine? Is it masculine? Um, so you can go down that route and really figure out your style. And then just carry that around with you if it's on your phone, keep those in mind because um, if you go into a shop, I, I've been guilty of this so many times, um, buying pieces that just are not my style. They could be the most beautiful pieces, but I just don't feel like me in them. Um, and I could see it on somebody else and absolutely love it. But I know if I wore it, I just wouldn't feel good in it. Um, so really keep that with you and keep those ideas in mind because otherwise you'll probably buy a really, really nice piece but you'll never wear it because it's just not you. Tip number seven um, is budget. So work out your budget. You don't want to go in blind shopping. There's nothing worse than that. It can be so overwhelming. Like I say, there's thousands of pieces online and knowing your budget, I think, is a key one to honing it right down. And I think knowing your budget as well also falls quite nicely in with prioritizing um, what do you want to spend a little bit more on. For me, that is accessories. Um, I personally like to spend a bit more on bags. And then for slightly more trend-led pieces, I'll buy more affordable things. So um, I balance it like that. And just really set a budget, maybe go through your um, spending budget for the month, not just for clothes, I mean um, for everything. And then work out kind of backwards from there what you can afford to spend on yourself. Maybe you'll save up for a few months to buy something slightly more expensive. Um, so really work out your budget and what your budget kind of means for you in a way. Number eight, this is a key one use the search tool please 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 use a search tool because i've had quite a few messages actually on instagram um maybe saying some a site like and they've been on a site like asos um i mean asos is probably one of the most overwhelming websites there is out there and it can be so overwhelming so make sure you use the search tools refine everything go by your style go by your size you may be looking for the petite range so make sure you click on that um, make sure you click correct size and make sure you click the colors you want because otherwise the time i have wasted looking through thousands of pieces on a new in section and none of them i want i mean you can the search engines on websites are so good these days you can really specify exactly what you're looking for. So really simple tip, use the search engine and do it every time. Tip number nine, really easy one for our final tip and that is use your gut instinct. I think more than anything, we just know in our heart of hearts whether we'll actually wear something or not. And like I say, it could be something really nice that we're drawn to like a magpie but we just know deep down we'll never wear it or we'll wear it once and please use and trust that gut instinct as much as the devil on your shoulder is saying buy it buy it buy it just use your gut instinct take a deep breath and a step back and just i don't know just use that gut and know that in the long term 
it's better not to buy it. So I hope you like my tips today. Let me know if you've got any extra tips. It's always good to add some into the comments and have a read through them because so many of you produce some really helpful tips and things like that in past videos so it's nice to add those on to this video um, if you've got anything else that I've perhaps not covered. Hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, before we go, I'll mention what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this Arquette black shirt, such um, a useful piece. I had this in the summer and yeah, it's like one of those all year round kind of pieces. And of course, I'm wearing it with my North Skull pieces. Got our pearl Zvina necklace on here, um, just, this looks so good on plain black like this. Um, and yeah, all the rest of our jewels, you can shop them below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to download Shop Tagger too, a very, very useful tool for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.